Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jimbo, your host, and today we're gonna to be talking about two super popular products. The first one being by PNS, their Break Busters, one of their newest products, and then an even, an even newer product by Adams Polishes in their tire and wheel cleaner. So what I'm gonna be testing out today is how do these products work in a no touch situation. So my opinion is, is that they're both kind of in that APC family and any APC that you're agitating a bunch with a wheel woolly or a brush is gonna do a pretty good job. But what I wanna see is how do they work as a no touch option. Now in the price category for the 16 ounce bottle, they're both right about the same price, right around that 10 bucks per 16 ounce bottle. Where they differ a little bit is in the gallon size. In the gallon size, the PNS sales is gonna run you right around the low 20 range, depending upon where you buy it. And the Adams is gonna be in the mid to higher 30s, which Adams also, or excuse me, always has kind of a sale running, so you can kind of lower that price a little bit. But what I wanna get into is how do these work? So we got a dirty rim out front, we're gonna clean it, clean the tire, do a before and after, dry it in a completely no touch situation and see which product does better. So let's get to that right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually pre-rinse the rim. And the reason why you wanna do this is to make sure that the rim is not hot. And you're also gonna loosen up any loose debris. As you can see, this rim and tire combo is pretty thrashed. So I'm gonna rinse, I'm gonna pre-rinse, and then I'm gonna actually uh, try the no touch option first. So here we go. All right, first up, let's try the PNS Brake Buster. I'm not diluting it, so I'm using it completely straight. So let's see how it works. This is gonna be the no touch option first. So I'm gonna spray the rim, or excuse me, the wheel first. We're already starting to get some browning and some reaction happening on the tire. And that's what you wanna see. It's a little runny, even though it's foaming out of the, it's foaming out of the sprayer, but it is a little runny. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if the Adams is as runny. Then I'm gonna change up the, a mask isn't necessarily a bad idea either. I changed up the trigger a little bit to try to get the barrel. And again, what I'm gonna try to see first is how does it work as a no touch option? So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna let it dwell for a little bit and then go from there. I got the blower out and what I wanna do is actually dry this tire. Again, this is the no touch uh, way of doing it. And I wanna see how much of that browning and how much of the dirt it actually got off but I don't want to touch it. So to me on this one, it, it, the PNS did a pretty good job, a really good job with uh, removing a lot of the caked on stuff. Obviously the deeper barrels, if uh, I were to get in there with a wheel woolly, it would be good. But again, my kind of opinion with introducing wheel woolies and brushes and stuff is most any cleaner is gonna do a good enough job if we introduce that, where the real challenge is, is in the no touch. Now on the tire, It'll be interesting to see when we jump over to the Adam side, because in the, the tire, without touching it, 
it, it looks better and more consistent, but it still looks like there's a little bit of browning in there. So I honestly don't know if that's just the tire itself. It'll be interesting to check the Adam side to see how it does as a no touch option. It, it just looks to me like there's a little bit of browning still in there, but as far as cleaning the rim, no touch, it worked really good. Let's jump over to the Adam side and try that. So this is gonna be the Adam side again, working both front rims and tires of the car. This side's a little bit more in the sun, but the tire and wheels in the shade. So I'll do a quick free rinse, which to be honest is not my favorite way to do it. But I know you guys will beat the crap out of me in the comments. So the Adam's wheel and tire, again, not diluted at all. And what I'm looking for is differences in the formulation. So. Foaming again seems to be quite a bit thicker. So it's it's not as runny. A little bit more purple, kind of funny that they both chose purple. So it looks like an iron remover. It's definitely a little bit. I'm getting a lot more browning though. Holy crap. Look at that. A lot more browning coming off the tire, which was kind of my gripe with the PNS is it didn't seem to, it kind of seemed brown still, the tire, but I didn't know if it was just that tire. But when I'm looking at this, I mean, that's making a disgusting brown mess much more, much, much more. So there must be some browning still left in that tire on the PNS side, still getting a strong APC smell. But look at this. I mean, that is that's a lot of dirt and grime and crap coming off. And then the foaming, which they both foamed, helps it to clean a little bit better and run off. But that is significantly different than what we saw. It does seem like the Adams is kind of drying a little bit faster, but that browning is significant. All right, so the Adams is dwelled for about a minute or so, and you could even see <laughs> I mean, the browning is the most significant part to me. It's just crazy. So let's clean it off. So the inner barrel and the, the brake caliper right here, just from the initial thought and definitely the barrel of the rim down in here looks cleaner than the, uh, than the PNS side did. Looking at the tire, kind of hard to tell which one looks cleaner. Um, so I'll have to jump back over to the, to the PNS side and kind of compare the two, but this tire looks pretty good maybe on the tread there's a little bit more browning over there maybe again when you're scrubbing these both of these are going to work even better but again i wanted to see as a no touch option is there one that's better or not but honestly i'm really pleased at how they both did but the inner barrel does look cleaner on the adam side than it does on the pns side and it, i'm going to jump over and check out the pns tire to see if it looks browner I don't know if that's a word. So, all right, we saw the Adam side. Let's see the PNS tire side. Hard to tell. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And yeah, I'm going to go for it and say the Adams. If we look around the lettering and around here, the tire just still looks to be, not that it's necessarily brown, just a little more inconsistent. Um, than the Adam side. And again, if you can kind of peek in the barrel, it's a little hard to see, probably hard to catch on the camera. But in the inner barrel of the rim back here, it's not as clean. Uh, if you can't pick it up, that's totally fine. But 
it's it doesn't look as clean in the inner barrel as the Adam side does and the tire is a little bit more inconsistent and it to me and from some of the videos that I, I've watched on Brake Buster even after scrubbing the tire doesn't look like it's totally not brown anymore so what do you think which product did you think performed better which one do you think cleaned better now i realize this is a no touch we didn't involve any brushes or anything like that and to be completely honest i was really impressed with both of them for a non-acid formula both did pretty good if i had to pick one over the other it would be the atoms it seemed like the tire was a little bit more clean or the tire was cleaner i felt like there was a little bit of browning left in the pns tire and even my video guys thought that the atoms did better as well so i think it, it we're splitting hairs a little bit but the atoms takes it for me in this one but what did you think i'd love to hear your thoughts feelings emotions in the comments below and don't forget on your way down there to hit that big red subscribe button. And if you want to see my day-to-day -day life and kind of behind the scenes of everything that's going on at the Auto Detailing Podcast Studio, follow me over on Instagram where I post cool pictures and then also upload to my daily stories. So hope to see you over there as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.